Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, and today I'm going to be reviewing a powder deodorant. So this is an all-natural deodorant from the brand Madame Lemmy. This is the petite size in the rose scent. They have a couple of different scents, and they also have these minis as well as full-size deodorants. Um, I got an Instagram ad for this, and I was immediately intrigued. It's basically beautiful packaging. Um, very like vintage inspired. It comes in a little container like this and it's a powder deodorant with a little powder puff applicator. So I'm just opening this one for the first time. Um, today I'm going to like do my first impressions and then at the end of this video I'll have a complete full review. But it has a little powder puff. I love the packaging. Vintage and cute. Something you can leave out on your dresser. One of the interesting things about this product is it claims to be a three-in-one. So that in addition to being a deodorant, it's also a body powder and dry shampoo. I think that concept is really interesting. It makes it very travel friendly if you want to just pack a single product to use both as your dry shampoo and deodorant. It's a powder. It can go in your carry-on suitcase. That can be really convenient. So I decided to choose the scent Rose. They also have lemon, lime, and lavender. So those are their four scents right now. And then these minis are $14. The full size are $35. And they also sell um, bags of replacement powder. So you can reuse your same container and just refill it with more powder, which I love. I think that's a great idea. Um, to be less wasteful with packaging. I'm really rooting for this product to work because I think it's really cute and um, an interesting concept. I've been wearing natural deodorant for a couple years now, so hopefully my body has adjusted to using aluminum-free deodorants and that should not be a factor um, in this review. Let's give it a go and apply it and see how it works out. Okay, so it comes with the puff in here and then you have to peel off like a sticker. Once you peel off the sticker, there is a little sifter in there, and let's just shake a little onto the puff. It's hard to see whether or not it got on the puff. Hold on. There we go. There's definitely some on there. And I don't really know how much to put at this point. I want to make sure I'm giving it a fair shot. The rose scent is really pleasant. I think it's really nice. It smells good to start with, so hopefully that lasts through the day. Um, so this is cruelty-free, vegan, aluminum-free, talc-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, and there is no artificial fragrance. So those are all good things to see on a label. Um, and so I will put this to the test. I will just come back with a full complete review once I've had a chance to use this over several days or weeks and stay tuned for that part. All right, I am back with my full review of the Madame Lemmy powder deodorant. I have the rose scent as I mentioned before. Overall, I would say that this worked. Um, it was not my favorite natural deodorant I've ever tried, but I do feel like for the most part, it worked pretty well. Unlike a lot of other natural deodorants, I do think this kept me fairly dry. Um, I didn't really notice any wetness. So if that is one of the things that you like in a natural deodorant, um, this can be a good option. I think this mostly deodorized. I didn't really notice any smell like just like throughout the day. My boyfriend also said like he didn't notice anything. So it obviously wasn't like any noticeable type of BL or anything while using this. I did feel like at the very end of the day, if I like put my nose in my armpits, I could smell a little BO, but it didn't like radiate out towards other people or anything like that. So while this deodorant did keep me dry, to a certain extent, it dried out my armpit a little too much. And I will pop a photo on screen somewhere um, showing a photo of my armpit. It basically almost dried it out so that it was almost like peeling. Um, it did kind of go away after a day or two. It wasn't like a persistent thing that I was dealing with while using this deodorant, but I did have like a slight skin reaction. Um, so I thought I would mention that. I was a bit concerned that this deodorant, because it is a powder, would be messy. Um, and you can see it's like fluffing out a little bit, but generally if you keep the puff in here, um, I didn't find it to be that messy. The powder didn't like fly everywhere. I found it to be very manageable. Um, one thing that I was kind of like, didn't love is it's a bit difficult to put the lid back on because the puff doesn't it wants to like stick out so I don't know I did try this one day as a dry shampoo um so my first thing was like 
how do you apply this as a dry shampoo? I don't necessarily want to put the puff that I'm using in my armpit like onto my scalp. That just seems odd. And so I, what I ended up doing is just like tapping out a little into the cap and then like sprinkling it into my hair. It was not my favorite dry shampoo. I don't know that I would ever reach for this again like as a dry shampoo specifically. It did add some texture back into the hair. You know, if you have like a really flat, greasy kind of situation going on, you could definitely use this as like a texturizing powder. However, I just think there are better dry shampoos out there. In a pinch, this might help, but it's not something I'm gonna be reaching for like regularly to put in my hair. One thing that I think this product could be great for is if you have body sweat in other areas besides your armpit. So if you want something you can apply to your armpit, but maybe also like use um, under your boobs or like between your legs to prevent chafing. Like I feel like this could be an all over body powder. Ultimately, I don't think I'm gonna keep using this. Um, like I said, it was mostly effective, but not the most effective. And also I just found that personally, I didn't find applying the powder to be as quick or as convenient as using like a swipe on gel stick formula. Um, obviously there's perks to this in that you don't have to wait for it to dry. You just kind of dab it on. It does feel kind of like old school glam, but I think for me personally, I just like the convenience of a stick deodorant. That is something I learned while testing this. If you found this video useful at all, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out my videos and helps other people find them. If you're new here and wanna see more of my videos in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can see more of my future videos. I do have another natural deodorant video that I'm already working on um, for this brand called Wild, which is a refillable natural deodorant with uh, plastic-free compostable cartridges um, so I've already begun working on this video if that's something that interests you definitely hit subscribe and you can see it when it comes out thank you guys so much for watching please feel free to leave a comment below if you have a question and I'll see you next time bye